This is the brand new Valent Ecotech Plus combination boiler. Now Valent say this is the original remastered. It is hydrogen prepared. It is smart home ready and you will experience the next level of engineering. The new Ecotech Plus is a product of hours of research and development, years of expertise and innovation, and a series of fine, precise improvements that have sharpened, intensified, and enhanced the performance that is especially designed for the UK market. Valent promises us it's the boiler we know and love, but it's been taken to the next level. The combi comes in 26 kilowatts, 32 kilowatts, 36 kilowatts, and there's even a 40 kilowatt one. They are 440 millimeters wide, 720 millimeters high, and 352 millimeters deep, with the 40 kilowatt being 386 millimeters deep. So they are pretty much the same footprint as the old Ecotech Plus boiler. The first thing you notice about the boiler is it's had a complete new facelift and the old flap has gone from the front. Let's start by having a look at the new changes underneath this boiler. Now to remove this front cover there are now two retaining screws instead of one which was in the middle and the clips now are a lot easier to use and undo unlike the old ones. Now this is what the old Ecotech Plus looked like underneath so you can see there have been quite a few changes but it technically still does look like a valent boiler underneath. Now the pipe layout is pretty much the same, so uh, flow on the left, then the hot water, then the gas, then the cold water, then the return pipe, and then you can see the discharge pipe. Underneath you can see two black circles which are securing pegs for the new controls. There is also a plug socket for these controls. So this is the Valent Connect Internet Gateway System which basically just plugs underneath the boiler on these two pins. And then there is a fly lead going from the internet gateway to connect into the plug. So it's a plug and play system. And this allows the customer to install these controls because they are not taking off the cover of the boiler to go into the control board. Also underneath the boiler there's a new condensed trap which looks pretty much like the one used on the glowworm and there is a new connection now which is a rubber connection which has an air brake valve in there. Now something installers have been asking Valent for for a long time is a test point on the gas isolation valve because it's always been a pain trying to get the test point on the gas valve. Also the gas valve itself now is virtually full bore. So something you might recognise from the old Ecotech is the turret. So the turret looks pretty much the same and also the fixing bracket is pretty much the same as the old boiler. We can also take both sides off the boiler now by just undoing these two securing screws. Now if we take a look inside the boiler we can still see it does resemble the old Valent Ecotech Plus boiler but there's been some slight changes and a few upgrades. So you can see the expansion vessel pretty much looks like the same as the old boiler and it's in the same location. The Schrider valve is still in the centre of the expansion vessel and is still easy to access. The expansion vessel is connected to the hydro block by a copper pipe. This was also the case in the old Ecotech range of boilers, so I don't think we'll have any problems with this blocking up. Now you can see the boiler still comes with the Grumfoss ERP pump and it's in exactly the same location. Just above the pump you can still see the manual pressure gauge which is in the same place, which is there for the engineer when they are initially filling up the system. And there is a digital pressure gauge on the front panel for the customer, so they know what pressure is in the system. Also, you can see the PRV is still in the same location and is still easy to get at. It's even easier to get at now you can remove the side panels. 
Now you can see the pipe layout leading to the composite hydro block is completely different now and the gas pipe leading to the flexi is now made of copper and is slightly off the bottom of the boiler now so hopefully if anything happens we don't have any problems with the gas connection rotting. Another quite significant change is the diverter valve. So it looks like the same diverter valve but they've put it on a angle looking upwards now instead of horizontal. Hopefully we won't have any dirty heating system water coming through the spindle. We can also see the flexible stainless steel gas pipe going from the copper pipe to the gas valve looks slightly bigger than the old boiler. Now if we take a look at the burner it pretty much looks like the old burner except we've got the nice bunny logo in the middle but you can see now there are two electrodes looking probes. Now the one on the left is still the same uh, flame rectification and ignition probe but the one on the right is an ionization probe. So this probe gives the boiler via the gas valve an intelligent gas combustion monitoring system which will help this new Ecotec Plus reach a wider modulation range of up to 1 to 11. For even greater system efficiency this also automatically gives you an LPG conversion on most of the boilers which can be completed in minutes using the new interactive interface with no additional parts required or even a sticker. You can also see the ionization probe comes with a warning sticker telling engineers to keep their sticky little fingers off the probe. Put down in the comments guys if you think this is going to become a problem when we're servicing these boilers in the future. So because of the new INI detect technology the boiler requires a completely new gas valve. Also you can see there's a slight subtle change to the silencer tube. It's also easier to remove. No screw to remove now, we've just got this little push clip. So all you do now is push down the clip, then pull forward the tube, and then like the old one, you just waggle it off. As you can see, the flow and return sensors are still in the same place, and they're also still colour coded red for flow, blue for return, and the low pressure sensor is still here at the top. But this time, they say they've put a filter in there, so hopefully that doesn't still keep getting blocked up with dirty system water. Gaining access to the PCB now is a lot easier, and there is also this little clip here, which will hold it in position for us when we're working on the board, so it doesn't keep trapping our hands. The board has also had a bit of an upgrade. We've now not got eBus, we've now got Limbus which enables more intelligent and accurate reading of the flow rate and pressure differential via the internal pump for improved performance. All the old valent controls will still work on this boiler and we've still got the 240 volt RT and the 24 volt RT switch connections for third party controls. But why would you want to install third party controls on this boiler? I am a big believer of using the manufacturer's controls for the boilers because it makes them far more efficient and you get the most bang for your buck. I think the most striking and the best changes of this boiler is this new interactive semi-touch interface which allows for effortless first time installation and setup with guided commissioning and setup wizard and easy to follow navigation. You can see this new interface pretty much takes its inspiration and mirrors the Valent Sense Home VRT wireless thermostats. So you can see on the display it says Limp Home Mode. Now what this is, is basically it allows the boiler to still continue to run if there's a fault that isn't dangerous or isn't going to cause any problems to the boiler. So it gives the customer time to ring an engineer when there is a slight fault on the boiler. Now you can see the screen is showing the current flow temperature of 50 degrees. So if we press this menu button here and then press the radiator button, we can now use this slide to change the temperatures. We then press the tick to accept it and it's now set up for the higher temperature. If we want to do the hot water, we press the hot water button and then we can do the slide again and press the tick. If we press this arrow, it'll take us back to the main menu. 
if we want to get into the installer menu, we still use the same number as what all the other valent boilers are. And once we're in installer mode, you can now press the scroll bar up and down to get whichever one you want, and then just press the button to accept it. Now, if you install this hardwired Senso Room Pure Room Stat, it will unlock an internal time clock inside the interface. So once you wire in the stat to the bus connection, it will automatically sense you have the controller and will give you this heating timer. As you can see, it's easy to use and you just follow the information on the screen. And if you have a vulnerable customer, you can go into the time planner and then you can set it up for them, asking what time do they want it coming on and what time do they want it going off. There's loads of great functions on this and it's great to play with it. Putting this boiler in chimney sweep mode is easy. Press and hold this button till the menu comes up. Then scroll down until you find maximum hot water output and press the tick. And if you want to go into minimum, press this back arrow. It'll now load up. You then scroll back down to your fine minimum and press a tick and away it goes. So that's my quick guided tour on the new Valen Ecotech Plus combination boiler. Put down in the comments guys and tell me what you think of it.